What do brands like Obey, Support Black Colleges, and our own brand, Karasu, have in common? These are all six to seven figure apparel brands that started with $500 or less. My name is Gerald. Our family owns Merch Studio and Karasu, both of which are six figure home businesses. And my dream is to help 1,000 dream chasers start and grow their own t-shirt brands from home. In this video, I'm going to show you how I would build a t-shirt brand from scratch if I only had $500 to start with. We'll talk about the steps you need to take and how I would spend the $500 if I was using different printing process. I'll give you actionable steps to help you start your own t-shirt businesses today. So pause this video, put it in your playlist, take out your notebook, buckle up, and hit play. Let's make t-shirts. You have that gnawing feeling in your stomach. It's a constant whisper in the back of your head telling you that there's something better out there for you. You're sick of working for someone else, and you know in your heart that you want to be your own boss. You're creative and have a passion for fashion, business, and problem solving and you're ready for some excitement and challenge. You ask yourself, is a t-shirt business your perfect avenue for creativity, expression, and financial freedom? Can it free me from my nine to five? You answer yes and check your bank balance, $500. You ask yourself the question that thousands, maybe millions of dream chasers have asked for decades. Can you start a t-shirt business with $500? Picture this, you see a brand like Supreme, off-white, Stussy, and Bape, and think, their designs are so simple that I can do that. If I build it, they will come. You create your designs, make your killer mock-ups, set up a banger website, buy samples, and post them on social media. You're hyped, pumped, and ready to go. You go to sleep with a smile on your face, thinking life is about to get good. You wake up in the morning, check your sales, and it hits you. A big, fat zero dollar. You keep posting on social media, and after a month, you have one sale, maybe two. What happened? You have amazing designs, a professional website, and you post about it every day. Congratulations, you just did what most new brand owners do. The good news is, it's not too late. Follow the steps, and you'll be on your way to a lucrative t-shirt brand in no time. Step one, research your target market. Cost, zero dollars. Fail to plan, and you plan to fail. This cliche is so... Well, cliche, because it's universally true. Before you create your design, your website, or your social media aesthetic, you should first research your market. You need to know who you're selling to, what's available for them, what people are buying, what's missing in the market, and what you can do to stand out. You do this so you can identify your target niche, what their pain points are, and how to address those pain points. For example, Support Black Colleges addresses the need to make college education a viable option for African Americans. People relate to their costs and support their brand. I recommend watching YouTube videos on Blue Ocean Strategy so that you better understand the power behind the strategy. To summarize it, it says that the fastest way to succeed in business is to find an underserved niche and provide solutions for them. Number two, create a marketing plan, cost zero dollars. Once you've identified your target market, it's time to create a marketing plan. Most old school marketing strategies focus on showcasing the products and how cool they are. Don't do that. Unless you're like Mischief that has very exceptional and highly remarkable products, nobody will care. Chances are, there are thousands of brands trying to do the same thing that you're doing and marketing in the same old school way will get your brand lost in all the noise. Instead, start by answering the question, why should my target market buy from me and not from someone else? Really think about this and try to answer the question five times. Make each answer deeper than the previous one. Once you reach an answer that addresses an emotional pain point, you have your brand message. This message will be a recurring theme in your designs, ads, and social media posts. Plan to create content that helps your viewers see your message. How do you do this? By marketing like a storyteller. Create stories that convey your message. In these stories, your customers are the main character, their pain point or problem is the conflict, you are the guy that will help them solve their problem, and your product is the solution. For example, Antisocial Social Club, a streetwear apparel brand that represents negative emotions like isolation, depression, loneliness, and mental health, blew up after Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, and other celebrities started wearing it. Its message is, we are all alone together. And this resonated with the lonely, isolated people and helped them realize that they're not the only ones going through these emotional struggles. By buying the brand, they are now part of a group that understands them. Here's the catch. You don't tell them that your product is the solution, you show them. 
To help you understand how to do this, pause the video, save it, and watch YouTube videos about the book Building a Story Brand. Google Building a Story Brand Framework and use one of the free worksheets you find to build your story. This book has been foundational to building our marketing strategy here in Merch Studio and in our t-shirt brand Karasu, and I guarantee that it will change the way you think about marketing. Once you have your story brand framework, come back to this video and we'll move on to the next step. Oh, and I'll soon post a video showing how we use these books to plan our social media strategy and to grow our two businesses. So hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. And while you're at it, smash the like button. It helps us reach more dream chasers like you and me. All right, moving on. Step three, design your t-shirt. Cost zero to one hundred dollars the next step is to design your t-shirts notice how we didn't start with this and that's because we're designing for our clients there are a few ways that you can do this if you're a creative that's into graphic design you can create your own artwork if you do not have the talent or skills to create your own designs get a canva pro subscription which is twelve dollars and ninety nine cents per month but has a free trial you can use their templates which you will modify and fully customize for your target audience you can also hire a freelance graphics designer from Fiverr, Upwork, or Facebook groups. The problem with this is that they're expensive relative to our budget, and you might have to go through a few of them to find the best fit for you. The upside is that you can get exclusive designs that only you own. A third option is to buy designs from Etsy or Creative Fabrica until you have enough sales to justify the other two. Just know that these cost money as well. Etsy has print-ready designs for as low as $1 and Creative Fabrica has an all-access monthly fee of $29. Now, some people say you should not use designs from Etsy or Creative Fabrica because your designs are not exclusive to your brand. But I have many DTF clients that are very successful with designs purchased from these sites. If you'll be using DTF, a great alternative is to use the fully customizable 5,000 plus stock images from the Merch Studio website. Although these images are available to order for everyone, you have the ability to change colors, combine different stock images, and add text to make them your own. The downside is the graphics are not downloadable, so you'll have to order the DTF transfers from our website. The upside is that you get fully customized designs printed as Merch Studio Ultrasoft transfers. Regardless of the designing option you choose, you should focus on creating designs that reflect your brand's message. As a new brand, remarkability is key. And I suggest watching YouTube videos on the book Purple Cow. To summarize, the book says that we need to create products that people will talk about and share with their friends. The best example of this is Mischief, the art collective that sells Satan shoes, Astro Boy shoes, they don't really call it that, the toaster bath bomb, and more. Using Etsy or Creative Fabrica will limit your ability to create one-of-a-kind remarkable designs, but you can apply the Purple Cow to your marketing strategy as well. Step four, choose the right shirt. Cost $73.83 and up for 20 shirts. Now that you have your design, it's time to figure out what shirts you want to use and which decoration process you're gonna use to decorate it. There are a lot of t-shirt variations out there and apart from the price, you'll also need to consider things like the material used, the weight of the shirt, dyeing techniques, cut, etc. But this TikTok from my friend Screen Printer Mike talks about which blanks you should check out. You can get these and other shirts from websites like SNS Activewear, Sanmar, Jiffy Shirts, Aviva Wholesale, etc. Find a supplier that has a warehouse near you, call the supplier and ask how long it takes for a regular shipment to be delivered to you. Oh, and find suppliers like Jiffy Shirts who has free shipping for orders over $59. With a $500 budget, I would recommend using Gildan Soft Style 6400 because they're lightweight, durable, and about $3 per shirt at the time of this recording. A lot of people will disapprove, but I've been using it for more than two years and I love it. To start, I would buy two of each size, small to 2XL, in black and white. If you use Jiffy shirts, each will cost $3.69 plus tax, and your total cost will be $73.80 free shipping. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to create a video just about t-shirt blanks. Now like I said, there's a lot of different t-shirt blanks to choose from and this is just a starting point. If you don't like Gildan Soft Style, there are other shirts like Bella Canvas and so on and so forth that you can go for. Step 5. Choose the right decorating process. Cost? Variable. Once you have all the materials, it's time to start decorating your t-shirts. 
You can either do it yourself or outsource it to a printing company. If you outsource, make sure that your print quality is top notch and that your designs are printed accurately. Some decorating options that are available to you are HTV, screen printed transfers, DTF, DTG, sublimation, and screen printing. There are tons of YouTube videos out there about the pros and cons of each option, so I won't go into the details. However, I'll make a separate video that gives a simple description of each and break down the starting cost of using it. Step six, ordering and fulfillment system. Cost $27 per month. For your website, I recommend using Shopify or Wix. Get the cheapest tier in the beginning and level up as your brand grows. In Shopify, you can start with a basic plan, which costs $29 per month. And in Wix, you can start with the business basics, which costs $27 per month. Just know that these prices do not include a per transaction fee that they charge. Make sure to compare companies and plans when you set up your website. As orders start coming in, it's important to fulfill them promptly. Make sure you have a system in place for tracking orders, printing shipping labels, and sending out packages. This will help you keep your customers happy and build a good reputation for your business. To avoid a logistical nightmare, I suggest integrating your website with a free tier shipping service like Pirate Ship or Shippo. Not only will they minimize shipping errors by importing shipping addresses, they will also enable you to use discounted shipping rates that they get from shipping carriers like USPS, UPS, and FedEx. As an added bonus, some of them will use address validation AI that will check that the shipping address is correct before they let you purchase the shipping label. Step seven, market your t-shirts, initial cost, zero dollars. Now that your t-shirts are ready, it's time to start marketing them. To start off, you have to understand that there are three types of digital marketing media that are available to you. Owned, paid, and earned media. Owned media are your website, social media channels, and any other digital medium that you create content on. Earned media are the shares, mentions, reviews, and reposts that your clients and fans generate for you. Paid media are the ads that you pay for to get your brand and products in front of your target market. Since you have a limited budget, I recommend using social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to generate own media and get your potential customers to see your brand. In the physical world, you can also attend local events, trade shows, and festivals to get your t-shirts in front of more people. For social media growth, I recommend focusing on growing one platform. At the moment, TikTok is the easiest, but reposting on other platforms as well. Use the story brand framework you completed in step two to plan different types of posts for that one platform and keep creating different types of story-based content revolving around that content until you get a feel for what your audience responds to. Double down on that type of content and keep recreating different videos using the same formula. Note, if you're just starting on social media, the first few months are going to suck. You'll be looking at your view count and likes and feel like nothing is working. Keep going anyway. These first few months will be your learning phase and you should use these to find out what your target audience wants and how to deliver it to them. Other materials and equipment needed. Cost $291.26 including computer and desktop printer or $76.37 without computer and desktop printer. In addition to the cost of designing, selling, and producing the t-shirt, you will also have to purchase packing materials. First thing on the list, 12 by 15 inch clear t-shirt bags. These are transparent poly bags that you will put your t-shirts in. They come in different thicknesses and some come pre-printed with a warning label. One end has an adhesive tape strip so it's easy to seal the bag. At this size, you can purchase them from Amazon for $14.90 per 100 pieces. I recommend getting some larger bags as well if you will be selling hoodies or sweats. Warning labels. If your clear t-shirt bag does not have a pre-printed warning label, I recommend getting these as they warn your customers of choking and toxicity hazards. Having the sticker on your t-shirt bag protects you from liability if someone falls ill because of your packaging or if someone chokes on it. You can get these for $9.50 per 2,000 label, still on Amazon. Next are 12 by 15.5 inch poly mailers. These are white, self-sealing bags that you will ship your orders in. You can get these for $19.99 per 220 bags on Amazon as of this video's publication. Also, you're going to need 14.5 by 19 inch poly mailers. These are bigger versions of the other poly mailers. 
You may need to keep some of these handy for larger orders. You can get these for $19.99 per 100 bags on Amazon. Next up, we have adhesive shipping labels. These are the printable pre-cut stickers that you can print your shipping label on. You can get these on Amazon for $11.99 per 100 labels as of this video's release. Now that I've presented the different options for you, let me show you how I would do it. I would get a Canva subscription for $12.99, buy 10 black and 10 white Gildan 6400 t-shirts from Jiffy Shirts for $73.80, purchase a BTF gang sheet for $40 plus $10 shipping. I will fit as many copies of my designs as possible in the gang sheet. I'll buy a heat press for $199 get a website for $27 and buy my shipping materials for $76.37. All of these will add up to $439.16, which brings me under budget. Please take note that this cost breakdown does not include your computer and printer. But here are some budget recommendations if you don't have one yet. If you don't already have a computer, as long as you're outsourcing and creating your designs using Canva, you can get a Chromebook for as little as $140. Granted, it will not give you the best performance, but you can always upgrade to a real computer once your brand starts generating income. For now, what's important is that you have good enough equipment to carry out your tasks like managing your website, processing orders, communicating with customers, and so on and so forth. And for your desktop printer, assuming that you don't have one yet, you can get a cheap desktop printer for $74.89 on Amazon, and there might even be cheaper ones. With a Chromebook and desktop printer added, your total initial cost will go up to $654.05, so you might have to schedule some overtime at work, wait a little bit longer while you save, or look for cheaper or free alternatives from friends, neighbors, and community boards, as well as garage sales, until you can afford to purchase now keep in mind that this is only one way to do it. Your growth as an entrepreneur will be dependent on how creatively you can solve problems. And if you have a better, cheaper, and less risky way of starting a t-shirt business, please share it in the comment section below, or better yet, make a video and share it with us. Like another YouTuber t-shirt side hustle said, there are a lot of different ways, there are a lot of different models that you can use to get into the t-shirt business and all of them are profitable. I hope you found value in this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and let's make t-shirts.